Acknowledged. All right. Okay, he's backed in now. So Weapon at the ready. he's slowly getting to the point where we can actually pull this guy off the duty. We'll only have one guy overwatching this, these three points of attack from behind us. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, he's, yeah, yeah, we're good. So we're going to we're gonna see what happens here. We've got one that can come in. Yeah, he's coming in. I don't know if he can get an attack on us. Doesn't look like it. All right, here they come. No mercy, they are close, brother. Guy's really good. My weapon is jammed. Well, not that good again, apparently. Clear to fire. Ooh. Though I guess you don't really have to be good to kill something with, like, a, a hail of bolter fire. Because at some point you really just can't miss... Nope, well, that didn't work. Okay. So, first things first, I'm going to have Sergeant Gideon hold down this door. And turn. There we go. And he is going to guard. Because he gets a better, he's better when he guards than when he attacks. Because I'm pretty sure Gene Stealers, even when they're getting attacked, will get three, uh, three dice. But if he attacks Gideon, Gideon has a power shield, has a shield, which takes away one of their dice. And I think the Thunder Hammer gives him another one. So he gets like two and they get two. So it's better chances, or maybe he gets three and they get two. Either way, it's better if he gets attacked than him attacking. So, uh, let's see, does anything spawn back here? No, okay. So th pretty much that whole sector is uh, pretty quiet. So we're just going to move the rest of these guys into this room as best as we can. Again, we're slowly pulling back everybody to try and give us a... Uh, so, so we have as least people on rear guard actions as physically possible. So... I kind of want to do... See, I don't know if they're going to come down and then go through this door or just come straight. So, for this round, we're going to move them back and overwatch them. We're going to do the same on this guy. And I just got a, just got a message. Weapon at the ready. Thought I turned that off, but oh well. Okay, so we've got. Yeah, we're, we're pretty good here. We got this locked down. So, end turn. Let's see what happens. Cross your fingers, folks. There we go. Okay. Okay. Gideon's doing good. All right. So, what are they going to do? Okay. We were we were right. They were going to they're going to they were going to try and come through that door. Slow and steady wins the race. Being overly paranoid helps. There we go. Alright, we're getting close. We're getting close. Okay, so... Alright. Is there anybody behind these guys? Okay, nothing's spawning there right now. So, actually what we're going to do... Oh, God... All right, yeah. Move him back one. The enemy will fall before me. Let's have these guys basically go back to back for this round. Next round, we're gonna have this guy, which I believe is brother Gorel. He's gonna break off, and this guy's gonna take up position, and hopefully, it goes well. Hopefully, um, but we can actually start moving our men into a. Uh, into a end game here, if we can, because it's single corridor, so we're doing good. So two ahead, two ahead. Yeah, and slow and steady. You don't want to risk anything here. Already risked enough. Okay, there we go. Let's see, the lucky part here is that we have enough kind of 
running space between the spawns and us for these uh, for some of these gene stealers that will be will know where they're coming from and we can break off a guy if we need to do some sort of uh, we need to hold a door or something like that so okay all right oh guard and you know what Overwatch. Overwatch. We want to make sure that if even if Gideon goes down, we have an assault cannon to back him up. So let's end her. Cross your fingers. Again. My weapon is jammed. Oh, that wasn't the best start. Come on. There we go. Alright, yeah, here they come. Hopefully Gideon can hold the front. Oh, okay. Nothing else there. Alright. Okay, so... Let's see, okay, that wasn't the best. We're going to pull this guy back all the way. And he's going to hold. Securing position. And we're going to have him hold as well. Because I don't feel good about about leaving uh, Valenzo, Valenzio uh, there because there's this guy right here. And he could go he could go through this door down here right to there and get this guy on the side and he wouldn't be able to do anything. So once that guy's taken care of, then we'll start pulling back, uh, what the hell is his name? Uh, Goriel. So, all right. We have anything spawning behind us here? Again, we got to check. We need to make sure they're not coming in from behind. All right. So again, move forward steadily. So Sergeant Gideon can hit them with a hammer. All things considered, Thunder Hammer is actually pretty good. I, I thought it would be kind of... It's better than the Power Sword. I think the Power Sword only gives you an up to your attack, but he doesn't get a shield. So it's kind of like he gets he is he's he has ranged, but I don't think he's that. I, I think I would rather have Sergeant Gideon than Lorenzo any day. <laughs> My sergeant's much better than your sergeant. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, there's a severe lack of Warhammers in Warhammer games. Like Warhammer Fantasy has quite a few of them because that's like a sign of a religion in like the Empire, but. Like in Warhammer 40k, like barely anybody actually uses Warhammers. Kind of false advertising, if you ask me. Flying secure. All right, there we go. And enter. Let's see what happens. Cross fingers again. Don't uncross those fingers. All right, here they are. Drive them back. Good kill. Drive them. All right. Here they come. Okay, yeah, they still went that way. And Goriel's got it locked down. Ooh, that one went for Valencio. All right, anything else? All right, there we go. Hey, we generated full CP for that round, too. Okay, so first things first, we're just going to have him attack, because it's only one, and God, hope this works. Come on. Let's see. All right. Draw, no death. Uh, I think we're just going to have him guard, because I don't think I can actually break him, because the, the shield still works, so the Gene Sealer only gets two rolls. But he only gets but he only gets one plus two with the Thunder Hammer, and I don't think we can beat that. So, yeah, we're getting pretty close to just dying, because... Because we rolled six on both of those, and he rolled two sixes on... He rolled three sixes during that, and we rolled six both times. So if we roll, like, if we roll... 
one, two, or three, we lo we could lose. So I'm, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna hold here. Overwatch protocol initiated. I'm gonna hold. Does prolong our fight, but I think we can. I think we can handle it, guys. All right. So Goriel is gonna break off. It's gonna break off, and then and then Brother Valenzio is going to slowly start backing away. Weapon at the ready. All right. Let's hope this works, guys, because this is a. Yeah, you know, let's hope this works. Come on. Oh, I didn't know. Sergeant Gideon's got like a rebreather on him and everything. And he's got a pretty good full head of hair, so that's kind of rare. For a space marine, at least. Let them fall before us. There we go. See, the problem with having Gideon in the front is when we actually need to make a push for something, he's not the best for that. that, that the, uh, the guy with the assault cannon would be best, actually. Alright, here they are. Okay. So hopefully we can get Valenzio behind that door frame, and we'll be good. And wow, we did not generate that much CP. Alright, we generated some more there. Okay, so first things first, back him up. So that now he can cover both doors. Now he can't cover them effectively. I would like more runtime between this door frame and in front of him, but it's better than nothing, because at least now we can we can have another brother come and form to the rear, which means we have a nine space we have a nine terminators walking in a single file line, which for some reason makes me laugh. Because imagine those guys waddling down a corridor, all of them at the same time. I know it makes me laugh. Does it make you? Come on. Son of a bitch. There's really no way we can beat them on one on one. So we just we have to we have yeah, to guard, wrong, and hopefully they all charge and they all die. That's all we have. Uh, also, overwatching with the assault cannon. Pretty much we're just wasting movement points, but there's no other way to... Is there another way to get there? I would feel really stupid if... No, there's no other way to get to this room. So, what we have to do... Yeah, we, we just have to push through. Now, I think spawning there or there next round, so we should... If they all attack, which they should, we should be able to push forward at least two, so we'll be one away. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, okay. We'll, we're, we'll be good. So, did we overwatch this guy? Yes, we did. Okay, so, enter. Alright. There, ooh, okay. No no fancy moves with that one. He just wanted him dead. Alright. And down. See, really, Gideon is kind of a badass. Well, not, not kind of. He is a badass. Literally, he's gotten most of the kills in this game so far. Alright, here they come. Alright, yeah. They are close. That's what I was afraid of. My weapon has failed me. Clear to fire. There we go. Malfunction. Seriously, Valencia. There you go. Just wasted two freaking CP with that. Oh, here they come. They're coming from behind again. Alright, we'll have to break off a Marine to uh, guard this door here. Uh, oh, plenty of CP that round. Alright, backing away again. Acknowledged. 